Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, this is your weekly general reading for the 17th through the 23rd of June 2019. I am using the Psychic Tarot. Beautiful, we have spiritual strength coming up here. I'm also pulling from messages from your animal spirit guides. And Scorpio, I will do, be doing your weekly tarot reading with the Morgan Greer Tarot. And I will be pulling a positive thoughts and affirmation card at the end of your reading. We have Mountain Goat coming up here. I'll read that in just a moment. Let me go ahead and get your cards shuffled and laid out. Please keep in mind, Scorpio, I have uploaded the July monthly general readings. If you'd like to go check that out, that would be awesome. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising sign. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? And we are ready. All right, Scorpio. Beautiful. Situation of the week is the Ace of Pentacles. We have crossing you the Three of Pentacles. In your foundation, we have the Two of Cups. Recent past, we have the Hermit. Crowning you, Knight of Cups. New circumstance, Queen of Rods. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Five of Cups. All right. I do want to clarify this overall energy spirit, the Five of Cups for Scorpio. What is this Five of Cups? This is the overall energy. Justice. All right. All right, Scorpio. Give me just a second. All right. Let's take a look at your, your major energies here. All right. So we have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups being the overall energy, this is very interesting because the, the Five of Cups represents loss, disappointment, regret, maybe some confusion over what's been lost, okay? But there's a big need here for you to turn around because you still have two opportunities or blessings right behind you, okay? So this has already happened, whatever this is. Now what's interesting is that I clarified it and justice came out here. This is the energy of Libra. This is the energy of clarity, okay? This could be making agreements or making compromises within a legal or financial situation as well. Um, it very well could have been um, something that you were dealing with with the court systems. Maybe a lawsuit. It's going to be different for everyone. But what Spirit is saying here is that now you have the clarity about what's going on or what has taken place. There's a big need, Scorpio, for you to turn around and see these two opportunities that are coming your way. Not all is lost. That's what's coming through from Spirit. This is going to be an important time for you to call upon your inner strength right here with the spiritual strength coming up here. This is definitely going to be a time of where you need to go within. You, you need to gain some type of inner peace within yourself. Maybe even patience. This could be a legal situation or affair that may be just taking a long time. Um, and that could be very frustrating. 
For some of you, this definitely could be an inheritance as well. For others of you, like I said, you've went through maybe a loss or a disappointment. But Spirit doesn't want you to get lost in that. Um, recognize that there's opportunities here. So, you need to, I feel, there's a need to pull upon your most inner strength. Tap into your own divine, you know, inner wisdom and knowledge, okay? Now, what's interesting is we have the mountain goat here. There's something out of balance in your life, so do whatever you need to do to correct it. Now, oftentimes, justice can represent there needing to be balance, all right? Maybe there's balance within you that needs to take place in order for you to gain some in spiritual enlightenment to be able to turn around and see these, these two opportunities coming your way. I really do feel like for many of you, you are already focused on this and going within because we have the hermit here. And that's in your recent past energy, Scorpio. So it, it, it's still with you because it's still showing up in your reading. So I really do feel like this is a balance that you guys are aware of. Uh, whatever this is to you, whatever it is that you're needing to go within or what you're needing to balance here. Because you've already been working on it. Now we have the situation of the week. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And this is a beautiful energy right here. This is the seed that's been planted. And as long as it's nurtured, there's room here for growth and expansion. And oftentimes this represents your financial gain. Okay? This is reward for effort, prosperity. This could be good health. But it's very positive. Now, I do feel that it has to do with your financial situation because we do have the Three of Pentacles crossing you. Now, this can either be a positive or a challenge for you. Scorpio, I see this as a positive. You're working very hard at what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. You're highly skilled. This is you planning for your future. I feel like you could have a boss, somebody that you work with it is admiring your work for some of you this could be what this ace of pentacles is you could be getting a promotion or maybe moving up a uh, higher ranking in your job on what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis very positive now on your foundation what's driving you this week is the two of cups this is all about commitment connection now, with this driving you, some of you, this could be romantic. Uh, you could be offering a cup of love to someone, or someone could be offering their love to you. Now, for others of you, I feel like this has to do with the contract, and this is what's driving you, what's moving you forward. This could also be a business partnership as well. And for some of you, this could be this spiritual enlightenment that's been taking place in your life. <coughs> Excuse me, Scorpio. Let me get a drink. I am so sorry. This could be that spiritual enlightenment that's taking place with you, you know, going into hermit mode. And this could be you becoming one with your higher self as well. So very positive. Now, I do want to say something here. With justice coming up here, this could have been a, a just a minor setback, whatever this, this is, if it is legal. I don't feel like all is lost. Because what's moving you forward is this could be this contract or, or whatever that legal situation is. You're still using it to move you forward. So it, it very well could have been a just a, a court proceeding that was put off. Um... Something like that, or, or maybe a contract. I needed to say that. All right, now we have the hermit here. This is your recent past. So, this is the energy of Virgo. The hermit is all about gaining that spiritual enlightenment and that, you know, tapping into your spiritual strength right here. So, you can balance 
what's been, you know, maybe unbalanced in your life. This is all about you figuring out which direction maybe to go in as well. A time of introspection to maybe figure out the next course of action. Now we have the Knight of Pentacles here that's crowning you. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. So this is your energy as uh, Scorpio. This is an opportunity or an offer coming in. And remember, with this overall energy, you have several blessings at hand. This could be romantic. Okay, some of, like I said, some of you may be committing to someone, deciding to get married or move in. Um, it's going to be different for everyone. For others of you, this is an opportunity coming in. It's an opportunity for growth, especially with the Ace of Pentacles here, a new beginning of maybe financial stability and security. Your new circumstance is the Queen of Rods, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this is beautiful. The Queen of Rods is very self-assured. This is somebody that has a lot of self-confidence, go-getter type energy. Most importantly, with this energy right here, whatever it is that you're beginning with this new beginning of prosperity or your skill or what this opportunity is, this is something that you're very passionate about, that you want very badly, you desire it. It, there's a lot of motivation here to just take off and get it done. She's a go-getter. So whatever this is that you're passionate about, you're going after it with that self-confidence. And I feel success here. You see that sunflower. It's, it, it's just, to me, this represents... It almost reminds me I'm seeing the sun right now in my mind's eye. And that's all about clarity. And again, and we have justice here, and justice is, represents clarity. But the sun represents creative vision and being successful and going after your desire and what it is that you're very passionate about. So with the justice here, that could be clarity on these two opportunities, finally turning around and seeing them. For some of you, it could be a legal situation. I feel this week is all, going to be all about balancing and pulling your spiritual strength together. Um, some of you, it is becoming one with your higher self as well. Whatever's out of balance, you're going to correct it. I feel like you're already working on correcting it. This new beginning of prosperity. Uh, this is reward for effort. Very well could be a promotion. It could be... A new chapter in your life, maybe moving up in a company, taking on a higher up position because there's growth and expansion. Some of you are making a commitment, whether it's romantic or a contract for business or a company or this could be you becoming one with yourself as well, your higher self. We've got the hermit here. You've most definitely been going through that time of introspection and going within. You see these opportunities and these blessings. And you're going after it with passion and desire. That want, that need. Oh, beautiful. I have abundant energy and vitality today. I am ready to take on the world. Beautiful. I have the knowledge and wisdom to make smart decisions for myself today. Love it, you guys. All right, Scorpio, please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I love you guys. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Scorpio.